Hi, thank you for joining me today. It's Karen from Tillycraft.stampinup.net. Um, today, this is another video using uh, free papers from Celebration um, and just using like the DSP because uh, I haven't got the stamp set as yet. Um, these are the papers, the trusty toolbox papers. So this is all one side of it. I did show you on the other one. Really like this cool tape measure saw and all the tools which I've been fussy cutting out. And on the back, um, you've got plain ones plus screws. This is like a pin board. That's what we're going to be using today. Um, and the colours in it, if I can remember, black, copper clay, Crush Curry, Poppy Parade, Smoky Slate, I think, and maybe Lost Lagoon. Let me just have a grab a piece of paper. Yes, Basic Black, Copper Clay, Crush Curry, oh no, Grey Granite, Lost Lagoon and Poppy Parade. Just pop these out of the way. So, to get started, very quick and simple card this. And it's a great way to use your DSP. So, I'm basically... Um, making a card base so it's your normal A4 I'm going to score it in half oh I've done it the wrong way around but never mind and then I'm going to cut it no I'm not going to cut in half I'm going to cut in half that way so we have a different style card to ones I normally make so this is opening this way oh, do you like the inside and these are going to be, this is going to be a temp fold card, but we'll open it on the side. I've not made one of these for ages. That's because I uh, scored it on the wrong, I didn't have paper the right way around. But it's still the same size. Right. So, what we need is we need an inner piece. Oh, that's to go in there. We need an inner piece which will go in just like that so we can put that in now and basically it's just like either an inch or a quarter of an inch down from your size card so you can make this wherever you are in the world and from the paper I've just been doing lots of fussy cutting so like these are bits that I've got left. I'm not going to make you watch me fussy cut. <laughs> but I have lots of bits here that I've already fussy cut out. And because they're nice big shapes, pretty easy. So I want actually a pencil. And we're going to put a saw in. Keep it similar. So I'll do this first great cards for a handy person in your life I can be quite handy but I'd rather my grandson's quite handy so he does a lot of stuff for me which is nice there we go and that's our inside done now for the outside we need some of this spotty paper and a piece. Let's put the lid on the glue. I thought I had a smaller piece, but obviously it's gone walkabouts. So, where uh, is my glue gone? There he is. So, I don't know. Let's see how far down did I go with this one. Imagine if I do it from that end. Spout. Let's do three and three quarters. Yeah, that's fine because we've got a ruler which I've just cut up here. So it's got like inches and centimetres on it and that can go on there. So that's fine. And then I'm just going to trim it down to fit your card base. quite nice as well I quite like that Ooh, that might be another card 
there's so much you can do with this just using the DSPs and it looks really great I like this side because it looks like one of those pin boards that you uh, you keep all your tools on let's line that up that's lovely and this one slightly longer but that's fine because I'll just cut it off once it's on the card line it up along the bottom this is where your glue comes in so you've got a bit of wiggle room lovely and then all i do then is just turn it over and trim it down with my snips and then it's just a case of deciding what you want on your card so we've got all of these else we got so you can use power tools anything you want I've got a yellow hammer I oh, know I'll go with this one so I've got a hammer <laughs> screwdriver and I don't know what that's called. Is it a wrench? Right, so let's put some dimensionals on these and we can see. Oh, let me do my sentiment first because then that way we can put things around it. So I've got an odd scrap here of basic white. I'm going to bring copper clay in. And because I've got no sentiments with this, I've used the artistically ink, the big happy birthday. Love that. So, uh. oh, that's stamp nice. It's a bit skew with that, so I'm have to just cut that down. <clears throat> Let's line it up in this mini trimmer. I think I need to clean this, it's a bit. That's nice and I'll flag tail the end. Let's trim that down a bit. Just cut up the centre as far as you want to go and then put a nice little flag in. Let me go. I made the other one a bit bigger, but it's fine. Right, I did have some dimensionals on my desk because I've been using them. Use up the ends. Nothing goes to waste. And these would be great actually for like Father's Day's cards as well as birthday cards or for any handy person that you know. Ones. 
Oh, I know what I used on these actually. She says, Can I take that one off or not? Yep, that can go up here. Um, I had some strips. Put what I've done with them. They should be in this box. But they're not. So, yes, found them. These strips, they're brilliant for thin things like this. I was doing that thinking, I'm sure I didn't do this last time. There we go. That's great. That sentiment. Where's my sentiment? Oh, there's there. Huh? This is supposed to be a quick and easy card. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm messing it about. So, do we use the spirit level to keep that straight? Just build your card up how you wish. Oops. glue on the end of here uh, and I think we'll have the spanner on that's the word spanner for these There we go. Quite like that, actually. It's the original. And I've got some of these in dot colours. Um, the in dots. <laughs> and these are in the new ink, the current ink colours, which is boho blue, copper clay, moody mauve, wild wheat, and pebble path. So let's pop a couple of these in. can't help it so even if I was giving it a boy it'd still get bling on it oh, I can't get these off that's it just a few to jizz it up a bit there we go so there's my two cards I hope you've enjoyed that um, obviously this one opens this way and that one opens that way but I quite like those Thank you very much for joining me and I hope you'll tune back again soon some other time to see what else I've made. Thank you very much. Bye.